100 meter butterfly. World and American record holder Mary T. Maher, a standard she set back in 1981. Our lane assignments, Kelly Davis in lane one, Michelle Griglione, another 17 year old in lane two. Then we get a little bit more experience with Kara McGrath, 21. Lane four, Mary T. Maher, 21. Jenna Johnson, 18 years of age, Melanie Buttermeyer, Angie Wester, and in the outside lane, Terry O'Laughlin. But the race is between Johnson and Maher. Absolutely right. Jenna Johnson, the tall girl, six feet one inches tall on the right of your screen there. She's 18 years old. And weighing exactly the same, but at five feet eight inches, Mary T. Maher, the Olympic triple gold medal winner in the butterfly. Jenna Johnson beat her at the collegiates, but lost to hey, her at the Olympics. Maher. It's a real big grudge match. And Jenna Johnson defeated her at the Olympic trials, but Maher won it when it counted at the Olympic Games. We have the gold and silver medalist at this event in lanes four and five. In four, Mary T. Maher with the blue bathing cap, Jenna Johnson with the white, and that's where the race is going to be focused for 100 meters, two lengths of the pool. You know, I was expecting Jenna Johnson to touch substantially ahead of Mary Maher at the turn, but it's not turning out that way. Mary T. wants to take this race from the very start. Maher on the left. And they turned, they touched about the same time. Mary T made up some distance on the coast end of the wall. She placed it a little bit better. And this is a friendly rivalry, as you said so many times. These two will hug each other first, depending on, doesn't matter rather who wins or loses. Mary T Maher out in front with approximately 15 meters remaining. They turned two tenths of a second slower than world record pace, so we're certainly on a meet record here. It is still Mary T. Maher in the lead with lane four. Jenna Johnson in lane five and second in lane number three. Kara McGrath looks like she will bring up fourth place. Four, five, and six. Maher, Johnson, and Buttermeyer. Mary T. owned that race from the start to the finish. She never let Jenna get ahead of her. She never had to play catch up. And I think Mary T. has been practicing for her sprints, something we ought to note since this is World Team Trials. Not only does do those two swimmers make the world team, but also Mary T. has earned the right to swim the butterfly leg on the medley relay by her win here. So this is a possible two-medal swim for Mary T. Maher. Let's watch the finish as they come to the wall. Mary T. already in the middle with the lead. Half body length. Jenna Johnson, her head just a little bit behind. And notice how Mary T. ended her stroke with her arms extended. Jenna Johnson could probably have coasted in a little bit more and taken one less stroke. It wouldn't have made the difference in the victory. But the experience pays the price right here. Mary T. touching and Jenna Johnson coming in with another little bit of a stroke there for the second place. Karen McGrath on the left for third. We should add both ladies finished in under one minute time. The official clock for Mary T. Maher, 59-2 for Jenna Johnson, 59-7, just to shade off her personal best of 59-08. Lane three, Kara McGrath, she was over the one minute standard, one minute, 78 seconds, and or 78 hundredths of a second, I should add, and the meet record has now been established. 59-44 was the old mark, 59-20 for Mary T., so she has another record to add to her championship belt. Mary T. Maher, the winner of the 100-meter fly. And as soon as she flips and rolls back, I think Rowdy's gonna grab her. There's definitely a sense of relief at the end of this uh, rivalry. Rowdy Gaines? Okay, girls, there's been a lot of added pressure, you know. It's been an intense but friendly rivalry. I want to know, how did that affect your race going in tonight, Mary T? Um, it didn't make me just perfect my race. I mean, I know I have to get a good start, a good turn, a good finish to beat her, and, uh, you know, things just have to fall together perfectly. Do you feel a sense of relief now that it's over for now, anyway? Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, it's a, it's a race I really look forward to now, the rivalry and... and you know, having to hope that strategy goes well and stuff like that. So. Jenna, nobody likes to lose, but, I mean, how do you rate your performance tonight? Well, I'd have to say that I'm a little bit dissatisfied. I wanted to break at least my best time, and uh, I didn't, but it felt good. I'm lucky I got second. <laughs> do you th do you, now, what do you think about the East Germans? What do you think they're thinking right now? They, they, they know about you two for sure. What do you think their thoughts are going to be once they hear about you two guys? I think they're going to be a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, super race girls. Nice job. Leandra, John, super race. Thank you, Rowdy Gaines. American, world, and now meet record holder Mary T. Maher takes yet another first in her outstanding career as a butterfly specialist in women's swimming. We'll be back with more men's competition after this. It's through Sunday, August.